Hello and welcome back to another video from the What You Was Doing Football Channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be kind of doing a preview of another video that I'm planning to do probably in the middle of next month, um, where I'm going to showcase all of the shirts that I have bought since I've started this channel, maybe about five or six months ago, I'm going to showcase all of the kits and shirts I have bought throughout these last uh, sort of six months and I'm going to be giving you a full valuation of what it's worth as a whole and what I paid for each shirt individually. But for this time round, I thought it would be quite fun to sort of tell you guys what my favourite picks are of all the shirts that I've got so far. In total, I've got maybe about maybe 40 to 45 shirts as a whole. There are some shirts that I want to kind of get rid of as well, ones that I kind of bought at the start of my uh, the collection when I first started this channel because it was more of a case of right I want shirts I'll take any shirt any shirts at all any 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 but as the time uh, goes on we will start to sort of slim down the amount of shirts that I've got and then I will have a more sort of accurate idea of the kind of shirts that I want to get for the future as well and what kind of uh, the collection I want to get for myself. Just before we start as well again guys you've done amazing so far the subscriptions have been amazing from you guys and all the likes and the interactions as well uh, from you guys saying that you like the, uh, the videos, asking the, the questions that I like as well which I'm more than happy to answer so honestly guys thanks for all your help and support it really means a lot so thank you very much. So without further ado here are my top 5 kits from my own collection of 2021. Starting off with the first one now as I'm recording this video, I actually bought this one yesterday. Um, again, it was in a charity shop, which I will show a small uh, clip of just here. And this one, it kind of caught my eye. Now, I was kind of in two minds whether I did want to buy it or not, but let me just show you on screen just now. So it is the Spain Away Top from 2012. Now, the only reason that I was kind of in two minds about it was because of the sort of the massive uh, the pinstripe. Now, usually I'm not really a fan of it of shirts that have a big massive pinstripe just going down the, uh, the middle of the shirt. Granted, I know I've got the rubber plate um, top up there, but that is actually a gift from a group friend. Alan, Alan, I'm sorry if I've spoiled this so surprise for you there, mate. Um, so yeah, back to the shirt. Um, like, you know, with Spain shirts, obviously you associate red, like of course, with the Spain shirt. And with the sort of the light and the blue, it's very different and I don't know why. I just, like, I, I instantly really liked it, but I didn't know if I loved it or not. But I think that's what I kind of like about it. There's the kind of uncertainty whether you think it's actually quite a nice strip or whether you think it's really horrible. Now, I've been known to like a very sort of uh, the controversial shirt, let's say, but this one, yeah, no, I think it's actually uh, really nice and like it's very unusual for Spain to have like a blue sort of like a way shirt, but yeah, like it's very unusual sort of uh, the window pen strike and it's not something that I would usually like, but yeah, I was quite drawn to this. So, so yeah, this is the Spain shirt of 2012 and it goes in at my number five. So for the next one, it is this one. It is the Napoli home shirt from 2015. Now I probably know what you're thinking. Yeah, throughout that five year sort of at the period from when this shirt was brought out to the shirts that they've made now, you could probably argue that they've got a lot more nicer shirts. They've got sort of the better the design, better uh, the creativeness on them, which I do fully agree and I do intend to get one of those shirts at some point but this to me I really really like this shirt just for the simple fact that it is so simple there's not actually a full lot the going on in this shirt like you see like you know you've got the two sponsors you've got the Napoli badge and the Kappa badge as well and on each sleeve as well and I just think it's a really nice strip it almost looks retro in a way if you were to take away both of the sponsors if you were to say that this 
kit was made like sort of back in the late uh, 90s you could probably was it to believe that to some sort of extent but it just looks quite and uh, uh, the retro in that respect but that's why i really really like it you know and um, like i've always said that i do love a uh, the kappa kit like as well and yeah like i like i think the main thing is it's just i like it because it's so simple and in general i love napoli kits anyway but but yeah, so, and with me uh, picking this up for a mere £7 or £7.50, I think it was. Like, you can't argue with that at all. So yeah, this goes in at my number four, the Napoli home strip of 2015. And in at number three is this. It is the Borussia Dortmund away strip from 2014. Now, this... When I got this top, this was probably around the time that I started to do like proper, was it the bargaining, like when I was on eBay for example, and this is one, and still is one of the best bargains I've ever gotten. Um, as you can see, like, you know, the Borussia Dortmund in general, when they did um, go with uh, Puma as their kit manufacturer, me personally, every single kit that they have done home or away since then, I think they've absolutely nailed it. And the reason that I think that they do this every single year is that each design that they bring out, it's totally different. And sometimes it can be a bit uh, controversial as well, but at the same time, that's what draws me to these sort of kits as well. And there's never been a Dortmund kit that I've saw that I didn't actually like. But I just think this one, again, it's relatively simple, but at the same time, there's a lot uh, going on at the, the same time. And uh, uh, the black shirt in general, I think it's really, really, really nice. And just with the hints of the was it, um, Dortmund yellow as well, I just think it's so lovely. And when I got the shirt, uh, um, as you can see, it had Royce on the back of it uh, as well. And the fact that we only paid a mere £5.50 for this, like... I've had some uh, the bargains, like absolutely brilliant ones, but this one will still be up there for now as one of the best shirts I've ever bought in, and even for the price I uh, got it for as well. So yeah, it's a shirt that I will keep for quite a long time because like I said, I just think it's really stylish and it's just a lovely football top. So yes, this goes in at my number three, the, uh, the Borussia Dortmund away shirt from 2014. So coming in at number two, it is this. It is the Juventus home strip from 2013. Now, again, there are a lot more Juventus kits that are probably more deemed a lot nicer in terms of its uh, the designs and its retroness, um, etc. But I think this shirt in particular, in my opinion, was kind of the last sort of shirt that kind of represented Juventus and what they actually were but because like you know the shirts that they have now don't get me wrong they are actually quite nice but in my opinion this kind of resembles the history of Juventus like in general and it almost looks retro to a certain extent as well and yeah on that note there is a lot more with it the kits like sort of um, from the past that do uh, that do sort of represent you do Juventus a lot of the better of course but I still think that this kit in particular was the sort of last kit that the that they was at the produce that kind of looked that sort of retro vibe look that we are one of the biggest clubs in the world and yeah like you can tell that it's just it's so simple and it's just classic you you at the it's like you know of course the sort of red, the, 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 the black and white stripes yeah, yeah, like you know, there's not much to say about it, but that is the great thing about it. There's not like you know, there's not much to say about it, but there's so much to say about it, and I just think it's a lovely, lovely, lovely shirt. You've probably seen it in quite a few videos that it came with Ed the Vidal on the back when he was still at Juventus, and again, one of the more better bargains that I've got throughout the last six months, where we only paid a mere five pounds for this shirt. Again. I've mentioned it so many times to everyone, but if you're going to sell a shirt and if you're going to buy a shirt, like as well, check what you've got, i.e. check what they've got as well, if you're planning to buy. 
because your shirt could be worth a lot more as well. It's not to try and rip off like sort of the sellers as such but it's more to help them and it's to help you as well if you do plan to buy to try and get bargains as well but yeah again this was a brilliant brilliant buy um for the price i paid for it so so yes this goes in at my number two it is the juventus home shirt of 2013. so coming in at number one this shirt was part of my yet uh, the bucket list that i've set myself a few months ago for 2021 um, we've only got four more shirts to actually go to, um, to complete our Red the Bucket list for far this year. And just to give you a sneak ahead preview, I have actually acquired another one of that Red the Bucket list, which I will receive probably next week. So I can't wait to show you guys. And it was actually acquired not for, for myself, but my good friend Alan. So again, Alan, big shout out to you, sir. So this is the number one strip in my entire football kit collection and it is this it is the champions league version of chelsea's home strip from 2011. now even before i started doing this channel for some strange reason i wanted this shirt so much because when chelsea were bought um, by roman abramovich obviously they're one of one, if not the, uh, the biggest aspiration for them to actually do was to win the Champions League. Now, I have actually been a fan of Chelsea since I was about maybe five years old. To going back to the Zola days, Ruud Hullet, Jean-Luc Vialli, Roberto Di Matteo, Petrescu, etc. Um, and to grow up going into that sort of, was it a uh, crossover into Chelsea nearly not at uh, being uh, at the club to then being one of the best clubs in Europe now like it's astonishing and I think that was a massive turning point for Chelsea when they won the Champions League back in 2012 and again this was this shirt was actually not acquired through my own self again it was down to Alan who's been a massive help and a big supporter of the channel and um, he managed to actually like acquire this shirt and as soon as he told me that he was going to give me it, like honestly, I was absolutely buzzing. Like, you know, we got all of the Champions League badges on, just on the side there, and we got the Drogba name set who, let's face it, who essentially won the Champions League for Chelsea in that final against uh, the Bayern Munich. And it was a brilliant game and it was a brilliant night. And just to have this shirt as well, and I've sort of made that my own shirt like if that makes sense which kind of makes it more the special like as well because it just looks absolutely banging and this will be a strip that i will keep forever and um, i'm never gonna get rid of it because like you know chelsea probably had the, the better shirts like of course but just obviously because they won the champions league it just makes it all that bit more special so for me it goes in at number one and it's my favorite shirt in my football at the collection so this is it at number one the chelsea home shirt from 2011 champions league edition so guys we have come to the end of our top five list thank you very much for, for watching as always guys if you are new to the channel and if you did enjoy this the video please think about subscribing and smash that like button it really really helps me and it is always deeply uh appreciated as well but like i said this was only a sort of a uh, preview of a at the future at the video i'm going to do next month where i showcase my entire football shirt at the collection and i can't wait to show you guys so we to keep an eye out on that one and as always thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the, the next one you take care bye for now